following film evaporation system has characteristics like gentle evaporation process, less liquid holdup, quick response, and simple control, which helps to improve the product quality. The main components for falling film evaporation system including falling film heat exchanger, separator, centrifugal steam compressor, and white film evaporator. Feed liquid temperature will increase after being preheated by a primary heat exchanger and be transported to the following film evaporation system by a feed pump. Feed pump will cease working and falling film circulation pump will start working after the feed liquid at the bottom of the heater reaches the setting liquid level. The extraction of the non-condensable gas process will be completed through a vacuum pump, which helps to maintain a stable vacuum level in the system. Feed liquid is introduced at the top of the falling film evaporator and spreads evenly by distribution plate. Feed liquid forms a thin film layer on the inner surface of the tube and flows downward with a generated steam. Compressed steam from the compressor enters into the heat exchanger's shell site. Temperature of the feed liquid in the tube increases and starts boiling after reaching the evaporation temperature that due to heat exchanging with hot steam on the outside of the tube. Concentrated liquid and vapor mixture left from the bottom of the tube, then extracted and separated in the separator. Condensed vapor liquid at the bottom of the separator recirculated into the heat exchanger for further concentration. Feed liquid is introduced at the top of the wind film evaporator when reaches a certain concentration. Specially designed wiper wise the feed, thus create and renew film on the evaporator inner surface. Vapor then flows into the small separator at the top of the evaporator, where condensation happens and steam is extracted. Steam is generated through the liquid evaporation process and flows into the direct drive centrifugal steam compressor after being left from the top of the separator. The direct drive compressor drives directly by electrical motor with rotating speed between 30,000 RPM to 40,000 RPM without setup gearbox being required. The direct drive centrifugal compressor has unique characteristics like compact structure, less vibration, high pressure ratio, better efficiency and convenient maintenance process. High speed rotating impeller which increases the temperature and pressure of the steam. Pressure rise to steam then circulates back into the evaporation system from the compressor outlet. High speed motor, lubrication system, lubrication pump, energy UPS vessel, cooling fan system and compressor head are the major components of the direct drive centrifugal compressor. Pressurized steam heats up the feed liquid inside the heat exchange tube. Water contained in the feed liquid boils and steam will be generated, which separates in the separator and recirculated into the compressor. Steam after heat exchanging will be condensed and the starch has condensate water.